going on YouTube? It's your boy Fresh D back at it, coming off the bench like Iguodala. Um, as you can see today, no Johnny, no Pops. Vic's over there somewhere working on a video. Um, today what we're gonna be doing is cleaning these Nike Epic Reacts. As you guys know or may not know, Nike just put these out, introduced them. I think it was late last year, early this year. Um, in my opinion, it's their response to the Ultra Boost. Uh, pretty dope shoe, still don't own a pair though, but we're gonna try to clean these up. Um, Johnny was wearing these, as you can see, trashed them. Looks like some spilled soda and some other stuff on there, but nothing Rejuvenator can't handle, so let's get into it, guys. So, to clean these bad boys today, what we're gonna be doing is using Rejuvenator's three brush laundry kit. So in the kit, as you already know, you may not know, I don't know why I keep saying that today. Um, in the kit, you're gonna get your four ounce solution, your laundry bag, two sets of shoe trees. I know I only got one out here, but we're only cleaning one shoe, so that's all we need. Um, you're gonna get your all purpose brush, your soft bristle brush, and your stiff bristle brush. So let's get into this cleaning, guys. First thing you're gonna wanna do, adjust your shoe trees to size. People always ask about this, how do we know what size or what hole to go on? We kind of cheat, measure it beforehand, just so it's perfect every take. But for this one, it's a size 11. Uh, I think I'm gonna clean the left shoe today. So hop this in, as you can see, put the shoe tree in there so you can do extra pressure on this toe box, especially with the fly knit material. Uh, we're gonna set this guy to the side. Next thing we're gonna do, unlace these bad boys. I know that's uh, Johnny and Pops' favorite step because they always seem to forget to do it. Finally got these laces out. Like I said, I don't own a pair of these, but the lacing system Nike put on these things, difficult as hell to put these laces out. Um, so now that we got the laces out, next step, put them to the side. What we're gonna do, take our solution, our bowl of water. So take our solution, couple of squirts into the bowl. So we got the solution squirted into the bowl. We're gonna start with our soft bristle brush because this is a prime knit material. Um, you wanna dip your brush into your solution. Just start attacking all these stains up here. Um, as you can see, I'm not sure what it was that Johnny spilled in this. It looks like there's some dirt, oil, something. Definitely some soda on the midsole and outsole because it's pretty sticky. Although we put the shoe tree in, another thing I like to do, and I think most people that I find when they're cleaning, will stick their hand in there. And the other thing that that does is for areas like this, when I'm putting pressure, your hand is there with the firm, the firmness of your hand that I should say, will allow you to put more pressure on some of these upper areas. So now that we've finished up with our soft bristle brush, shake off any liquid off of that. We're gonna switch to our all purpose. This is the new all-purpose that comes in our laundry kits. The bristles are softer on this one than our old all-purpose. So with this, I'm gonna clean up the midsoles a little bit, but not too much. That's what I'm gonna save the stiff bristle brush for. But I'm gonna hit up the, the uppers again because there's a few small areas, especially with this counter right here. The hill counter that's on here is a little extra dirty, so I'll hit it up with the all-purpose. So let's just get into that. So with the all-purpose, the bristles are still a little bit stiffer than the, than the soft bristle brush, so you do wanna be careful. Um, as you can see, I'm not doing a lot of pressure when I'm brushing, I'm just lightly going over it. Um, you just wanna be careful not to snag the material. Not saying that it will, but it could potentially do that, so you just wanna uh, use some caution when brushing with the all-purpose on any knitted material. So now that I finished up attacking those tougher stains, uh, we're gonna wrap it up with the all-purpose. You could clean the midsole with this, um, but since I'm gonna clean the outsole also, we're gonna move on to the stiff bristle brush. So now that we got our stiff bristle brush, let's attack these midsoles and outsoles. Um, this is a foam, entire foam midsole. Um, I know it's supposed to be softer than Lunar, but uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Um, you do want to be careful when using stiff bristle brushes. Uh, if it has any paint or it's a painted midsole, you want to exercise caution or not even do it at all. 
um, just for sake of not damaging the paint job. Um, we have had some instances um, of the paint messing up, so that's just a cautionary tale. Be careful with the stiff bristle when doing midsoles. So now that we attack these midsoles, I'm gonna give them a quick pat down just to kind of see our progress, see if we need to hit it up again. I'm um, just gonna take one of our microfiber towels. These things do have some interesting grooves in them because of the pattern of that foam. So you may have to go at it a second time just because those grooves might trap some dirt in there. So as you can see, the midsoles did clean up pretty nice, but like I said, because of these grooves in the foam, I am gonna wanna hit it again, plus I gotta continue cleaning these outsole. Um, like I said, the foam is unique in that it has these grooves and that's something that gives it its little characteristics. Uh, but yeah, let's finish up with these outsoles and wrap up this cleaning, throw them into the laundry after that, and then we should be good to go. So finishing up with these outsoles, I'd be lying if I said this wasn't a pain to clean because of all these grooves, but we do it for you guys. So now that we got this outsole cleaned up, what I like to do is lather up, since we are throwing this in the laundry, is lather up this upper again, hit it, hit it, hit it once over, um, just because I like the shoe all suds up when I throw it in the bag. So I'm gonna do that really quick, then we're gonna throw these in the laundry and finish up these cleaning. So now that my uh, trusty cameraman Ronald over there reminded me, you gotta clean these laces, don't wanna forget that. You just wanna dip them in your bowl of solution, just like scrub off some of that excess. Uh, rub your hands together with them in there, Get these cleaned up really quickly, throw them in your bag, and then let's head to the laundry. So now before we throw our shoes in there, you want to make sure you secure the bag. Cool. So you want to turn on your washer. We got this little trusty bad boy in here in our restroom. So turn it on, grab some of your sneaker laundry detergent. Uh, this bottle seen better days, but we're almost towards the end of it, so we're not going to worry about that. Loosen your cap. Squeeze in about an ounce. You can see it fills up there. Boom. So you take your solution, or your detergent, sorry. Pour it on your shoe there. Close the washer up. And since we are only doing one shoe, uh, you wanna just make sure it is a small load, uh, normal cycle, uh, cold water. No hot water, guys. Always use cold. So we got everything set up. Just hit our, our go button. Now let's get out of here, let the washer do its thing. All right guys, we're back after putting the shoes into the wash. As you can see, they came out pretty good. Um, the only thing I will say is in some of these deep grooves on the outsole, I'm sure you guys can get a uh, look at that. I'm sure Aaron will get some good B-roll. Um, just because of, like I said, when I was cleaning it, um, all these grooves that are actually in this foam, I knew it was gonna be a pain. Um, so there is still a little bit of dirt in these finer grooves right here, but nothing really to worry about. Um, unless you were like trying to resell them or something, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but everything else did get really clean as you can see. Um, the fly knit turned out really good, so we're gonna lace these up, wrap this up, and let you guys get on your way. All right guys, so we went ahead and laced these up. Um, just like with unlacing them, this thing was a pain to lace up. It took a lot longer than it should have. Um, we finally got it done. Um, so as you guys can see, it came out really nice. What we did on these today, we used our three brush sneaker laundry kit, uh, cleaned the uppers with the soft brush, went back over it again with the medium bristle brush or the all purpose brush, I should say. Um, tackled the outsoles and the midsoles with that stiff bristle brush. Um, as you can see, used it to get in those grooves. One thing I did do, um, that we didn't show on camera because I really was trying to get that outsole really clean but was to use our brass bristle brush. Um, this is really good for getting into some of those grooves. Uh, you can actually really see it pretty good on this translucent area of the midsole, or of the outsole I should say. Uh, if you look on the dirty pair, you can't even tell that that part was translucent so it did a really good job with that. Um, we threw them in our uh, laundry with our laundry kit, the laundry bag, our sneaker laundry detergent went ahead and wrapped everything up. So that's gonna be it guys. So all the good stuff, make sure you guys subscribe if you guys aren't already subscribed. We are doing our Yeezy giveaway all year long, every month. Um, with that being said, that contest resets every month. Really, did you do that on purpose? You missed my whole flow. Uh. <laughs> all 
I don't even know what I said. You messed me up. Uh, I didn't know he was gonna do that, guys. <laughs> Sorry, completely threw me off. Anyways, um, Yeezy giveaway. Uh, make sure you guys go to the website. Uh, link will be down below. Link, I'm sure, will be up in the card somewhere, right, left, one of these directions. Uh, make sure you guys enter for a chance to win. Um, we do got some big things coming up for that giveaway, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Also, we're doing some things with Sneaker Inc., their YouTube channel. Uh, make sure you guys stay posted for that. That'll be coming week or two, Aaron? Yeah. Soon, be coming soon. Uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So it's gonna be fresh to you guys, signing off. Until next time, I'm out. <laughs>